Hi, my name is Carlo and we are back with the tutorial for Terragon DE. And in this tutorial we want to have a look on a photography on a photograph <coughs> that we want to combine with a 3D object and including uh, the lights and the shadow that uh, the 3D object will look more or less realistic in our scene. And before we start we want to make some preparations. So for our scene in general we need um, two basic things. That is, the one is the floor, the floor object, and we want uh, to have the floor object some special features that we can add with the Cinema 4D render tag that is here, the render tag. And in the render tag we can uh, disable that the object itself will make any shadows. So the floor object will not create any shadows by itself. And at the moment the floor object has no material so it will not uh, have any color and it will be not visible. But it will take the shadow from any 3D object that is located uh, near the floor and will make a shadow on the floor. And the second thing we need to check is the background compositing button here um, that we want to use the floor inside a background um, a background a picture, a rendering. <coughs> and the second thing we need is the background itself. So we want to make a background object. And for the background object we need to create a new material. And this new material um, has to take the texture that we want the background to look like later. And I was outside uh, today, uh, not today, a few weeks ago, and I took a few photos out there. And I think we want this photo um, to be our background. So we want to make a copy into our tutorials folder and we have a new material containing our photo and this object or this material we want to add to our background. So now it looks uh, like this and to have the best effect we want to take the floor inside the background um, as a sub object so Cinema 4D will know that we want to have a background composite compositing here. And uh, now we can see here <coughs> the floor has um, its own, its own uh, structure and we need to f make the structure of the floor fitting to our photograph we have <coughs> imported. And uh, so we have to define how the floor as a ground will fit the best into our photograph and I think it's uh, something like this. You can uh, you have to play around with it so it will look that it looks uh, realistic. And here is our horizon. So I think this will be more or less uh, okay for us and we want to make a test <coughs> with this. So the next thing we need is a 3D object we want to place on our uh, ground and for this example I take a simple text like our uh, homepage text and I want to... Mm, okay we, here we have the text and I want to make the text wait a second I want to make the text uh, three dimensional so I will add an extrude NURBS put the text inside and now we have a 3D text object here we can move around round but we don't want to mm, 
make it too high because the shadow will go on the floor and if we uh, put the text higher the shadow will be more far away and so it won't look like it's lying on the ground <coughs> so we can but we can turn it as we like that will be no problem but we want to turn it like our 3d scene is so okay and we can move it uh, somewhere here for example okay and I want to make our logo look a bit more eye-catching so I'll change the color to red for this example okay so we have a red tarragon and when I render this the floor uh, uh, structure will be away and we will see okay the tarragon de looks like it stands on the ground but it don't look uh, doesn't look realistic because the shadows and the lights are uh, still wrong and that's why we want uh, to add a light source and we will do it here with our standard light and here we can see okay there is a light going on and um, now it's important where to place the lights and if we check our top view we can see okay here is our Terragon DE logo and from the side view it looks like this so we can see okay the light has to be um, over here because some, now we have to uh, look where the light source is in on the photo and the light source is here in the back uh, in the background uh, it will come here and uh, lighten up the center of this uh, walk way and here is a bit more shadow so we have to place the light <coughs> in the background and we can see here on the bottom there is um, the light a bit more visible okay like this and here is a bit more up <coughs> and now we have to activate the shadow of the light so that the light will create a shadow for our objects and I will make a quick test render again okay and we can see there is a shadow but the Terragon DE is not on the ground on the floor so we have to go to the side view and we have to put our Terragon DE on the ground like this we can check again okay it's uh, a bit better but other ah, the G is a problem so we can just move it like this and then move it down so and here as you can see some the problems that you have with text if you don't use uh, very simple objects it can be a bit difficult to create a realistic looking scene but now I think it's uh, getting better we can have our light source we can put it a bit more to the front render again okay we can see here that the light source now comes directly from the side but this is uh, not realistic because it comes from the back and now it looks uh, quite realistic here that our Terragon sign is in the center of our picture and is lightened by the Sun in the picture and to make our scene a bit more interesting I have prepared a poser object in our um, tutorials photo 
that is called tutorial object info walk path run. So I will just load this, create the materials. And when we've done this, I want to go with her to the back here. And we want, we can see we have an animation of 150 frames. I will adjust this here. And we have a running girl that is running from the back of our photo to the front. Um, now I try to fix the camera view because she looks a bit too small but I can try to fix this in this way maybe from here render I hope our Terragon DE will still look kind of realistic. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. And she is in the back. But I can see, okay, I have put the light too much in the back. I have to get it more in the front again. And a bit more here. So I check the top view and get the light somewhere here. So that's a figure. Will be in the light here and when she runs her shadow will change when she's coming into the dark here. <laughs> okay, <coughs> I will check our render settings again and make all pictures being rendered and I will scale down a bit to our low resolution Sa save it as a new file that is tutorial that we want to call it and again quick time Okay, perfect. Now I will click the render button and I will make a pause until our scene is rendered. Okay, now we rendered the whole scene. We can close our render window and we can see the final result. <coughs> this is our video and if we play back we can see, okay, the woman is running on our ground. And we can see the shadow here is more or less realistic. The shadow of the uh, Terragon logo is a bit realistic too. But we can still optimize here on this. But this is the general way <coughs> to make such a photo and 3D object combination. So, that's all we have to do now and if you want to experiment you can start right now and I wish you much fun by trying and making your own photo and 3D mixed scenes and animations. So, see you later!